Welcome back to SDL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and we're learning about the Kabbalah Center St. Louis with my guest, Dr. Rachel Glick. Dr. Glick has been talking about the Kabbalah Center and Kabbalah um, as a whole and why it's important um, as a spiritual center um, mm -hmm. in wisdom for all of us. And so um, you've got, we were talking in the last segment about the classes and that kind of thing in addition to the bookstore mm -hmm. um, in Clayton. Tell us about a couple of the classes that you have upcoming. Okay, great. The first class is starting October 20th and it's a 10-week course and it's called um, Creation and the Purpose of Life and it's basically the essentials of the Kabbalistic wisdom that will explain the origin of creation and the purpose of our life and the spiritual laws of the universe, journey of the soul, things like that. Mm -hmm. And it's very, it's, it's deep but it's also very practical in how you actually can, how that can influence how you make decisions in your life and your relationships and things like that. Okay. And it starts, it's, it's Thursday night, October 20th it's 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. and it's very reasonable. There are scholarships and it's, a, it's really nice to study in a community. Yeah, so in a typical class, how many people usually? Oh, it ranges anywhere from 15 to 45. It just depends on, you know, kind of what's going on. And is the... this class, would you describe as a, a good intro class um, to the Kabbalah? Mm -hmm. way? Yeah, it's a, it's a great way for you to get a taste of what it is and to see if it resonates with you. Mm -hmm. By the end of the course, you'll get a feel of this is the right, feels like the right match for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, very yeah. good. Okay, so that's starting at the end of October, mm -hmm. end of this month. Okay, yes, and then weeks. after that, yes, then on November thirtieth, mm -hmm. uh, which is I believe a Wednesday night, we're having we have monthly events that are called the New Moon. So this is a New Moon of Sagittarius, and we have a um, a national Kabbalistic astrologist from the Kabbalah Center coming to St. Louis. She's actually revisiting. She was here about a few weeks ago, and she's coming back to give a seminar for the New Moon of Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. So you'll learn more about the power of that month and how you can kind of ride the energy wave of it to maximize the benefits of the month and also to how to navigate where the challenges might be. It's known to be a month of miracles Inter and how you can actually capitalize on that. So that'll be the month of December. Exactly. So you kind of start off. Yes. Get, November 30th gets you um, to learn all about how to navigate December, which is such a crazy month anyway. Exactly. <laughs> For everybody and kind of wrap up the year. Mm -hmm. um, feeling refreshed it sounds yes. like. Yes. And she's also also going to come a few days earlier mm -hmm. and she'll do private one-on-one -on -one astrology charts. Oh really? Yes. And how does that work? So she'll she will get your information, you fill out a form and you you know you send in your information about the date of your birth and where you were located and the time mm -hmm. and then she's able to do it's very quite mathematical mm -hmm. and intuitive but she um, gives a Kabbalistic chart reading really to help you it's a tool one of the tools of, of Kabbalah is astrology mm -hmm. so it helps you to navigate like where your strengths are where your challenges are and then to give you more idea about what you're here to work on so that you don't get embroiled in it but mm -hmm. you actually can step aside from what it is that you need to work on and see it from that per bigger picture perspective mm -hmm. so what would you um, say uh, Kabbalah is similar to uh, is there any parallels in other spiritual mm -hmm. forums or uh, religions mm -hmm. such a good question it's, it's, a, it's a spirituality, so it's universal wisdom. And what you'll find is you'll see it in, in everything you study, you'll see pieces of it. It's a root wisdom. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to have, um, you know, it's not like Kabbalah is, has a claim to any wisdom. It's just Kabbalah means to receive. Yeah. So, so you'll see it in a lot of, other, a lot of overlaps in other, other teachings. So uh, I think there's a perception that Kabbalah is, um, shares um, some spirituality, if you will, with Judaism. Mm -hmm. And if you are Christian based, let's mm -hmm. say, in your culture or your background, is there something in Kabbalah for you as well? Yes, absolutely. The, uh, it's thought of often as Jewish mysticism because many of the Kabbalists were, are Jewish mm -hmm. and were Jewish, but there are Christian Kabbalists as well. Mm -hmm. And there's the use of the Hebrew or Aramaic letters, which is known to be associated with being Jewish, but they're really universal letters. And so that's why a lot of people associate it with being Jewish. But you'll see probably 70% of the students who come and study are not Jewish. They're oh, people from all different faiths. Very diverse community. Hmm, very interesting. Very yeah. good. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Glick, for oh, coming in pleasure. today and sharing about the Kabbalah Center. For more information on the Kabbalah Center St. Louis, visit stlouis.kabbalah.com. And there's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.